Okay, let's see what let's see what Vic has to say. Once again, once again, okay. Um, and you guys were great on this because crazy enough, all right. I was looking at the analytics for this channel, like as far as the the demographic, it shifted insanely. I think there's only fifty percent of people that are in America that watches these videos, which is insane. I think it's like fifty to fifty eight percent or something. I uh, think it's nearly, it's probably 60%, but it's a big chunk, like 11 to 12% that's from France now. That's pretty cool. So everybody that's from France, okay, if you, if you can help us out, I won't play it for this segment because most people watching won't know anyway. Um, but if you guys could leave at least just something in the comments saying what was asked, and what was said once we get to that part that would be great okay you guys did it last time it was awesome i pinned it so if you do it again i will pin the new one as well from africa too are you from africa that's pretty cool uh, orlando had a 17-0 run to take control of the game there in the middle of it and you guys had a 15-0 run to climb back into it what were the differences in your mind in how the team played in those two stretches uh you know taking care of the ball and running back in offense getting some uh some high energy steals as well, you know, from Trey, for example. And it's, uh, yeah, you know, that momentum we we get to, to entertain, you know. Like the fans, you guys are down 25 and they're still mm -hmm. really into it. Um, can you guys feel the, the belief that the fans yeah. are going to have how contagious is that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Everyone keep asking about the fans. We know we're great. We get it. All right. You, you don't have to, you don't have to do this. You don't have to pump up the fans. All right. We already know we're awesome. You know, definitely gets us going and uh, helps with that momentum, as I said, you know. It's, uh, you know, this is why it's good to play at home in front of, I mean, people could, could have left when, once we were down 25, but, you know, they, they believe in us as much as we believe in ourselves. So it's, uh, we got to keep going this way. Turnovers have been a problem of late. What can you guys do to cut down on that collectively and then individually as well? Mm -hmm. It's, um, what can we do? I mean, uh, we're at, at a point in the season where we learned a little bit on ourselves, but uh, you know, some of the the 40 plus games maybe are, are catching up on us, and we need to stay focused on every one of them. And uh, cause, because I mean, we can't each game counts, you know, and and we can't just uh, not pay attention to this because this has been one of, if not our biggest problem all year. Yep. But that's what young teams. Do. By the way, I'm actually happy that people have kind of gotten over it. Okay. Good God, man! Do you guys recall how bad it was? at the beginning of the season when the Spurs were losing, like especially the losing streak, it's like you couldn't talk to anybody. You couldn't just say, yeah, they need experience. That's that's the problem right now. Like people would just get onto the Spurs like every single night, man. Like I couldn't believe people were criticizing the San Antonio Spurs for not doing something that has ruined other teams. Why couldn't you, why couldn't you be the Atlanta Hawks? Why couldn't you be the Dallas Mavericks who's on risk of losing their superstar, right? Like they were like, why couldn't you build around Wimby? Literally, that has been proven to not work. You don't do that. You don't go all in on a rookie that you just drafted. No matter how great they are, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I don't know why people kept saying that. They were like, well, you knew you were getting Wimby you know, it's months before. It's like, what are you talking about? So we need to just trade house. You would not only be building around a player that never stepped foot on an NBA court uh, yet, but you'll be building around a player and you don't even know what type of player he's going to be offensively. Like, like we knew Victor Wambayama is going to be great. We know that he's going to be great, possibly the greatest of all time. We understand all that, but he didn't even know what his go-to is. Like he doesn't know his spots on the court yet. You don't know anything. How do you build around a player that doesn't know his game yet? It doesn't even make sense. You got to wait a minute. Spurs didn't try to attempt to build around Kawhi until he got a little bit more established. How, like, what would it be like if you just got Kawhi his first year? He's a defender. It's like, all right, we're going to build around him. Like, how? How do you build around him? If you go all in and you get all these free agents and you make these huge uh, trades and you get rid of your draft picks and try to build around Wimby as quickly as possible, you, you're you not going to succeed. You might have a good season in there. You're not going to succeed. I uh, can't believe people were actually upset about that. It was insane. That's unrealist, 
unrealistic expectations for you. Yeah, the expectations were crazy. I said early on I didn't think that we would make the play-in. Now, at this point in the season, I didn't think that we would only have 10 wins. I'll be honest with that. I thought that we could do a little better than that. Which, if you watch a lot of these games, you would agree we could do a little better than that. Uh, but, um, yeah, no, I, I didn't think we'd make the play-in. People were genuinely upset with that take, by the way. Hold on. I'm calling someone out. Let's see if I can find it. Actually, I'll bring it over here, and you guys can watch uh, Wimby talk. I think tonight wasn't the first night where you guys roared back and almost got the win. Those deficits that you know that you guys face in the third quarters, are they just, just too big a hill to climb once you guys get down like that? Not necessarily, but it uh, definitely doesn't help us. Orlando is one of the bigger teams you'll face position by position. Mm -hmm. Do you guys feel that size and length and, and yeah. physicality? Of course. Yeah. Uh, on both sides of the court, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of their big upsides. Anybody else in English? Well, um, wish Jeremy was with you in the Rising Stars game. You didn't get selected. Just your thoughts on the All-Star all -star selection tomorrow night. Is that something you still are anticipating? Gosh. Or? Of course, yeah. Gosh. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a dream for anyone, you know, to, to be to be part of that All-Star weekend. So it's a, it's a chance, but, uh, you know, I'm seeing, I mean, I, I, if it was on me, I would have said to Jeremy, uh, you know, according to the, to the stats, but it is how it is. Yeah, how is Jeremy not in there? Oh, it's over. All right, you guys can watch me try to find this. It's sure that we're going to get more but we're going to take the two It was a while ago. It's a good effect, it's a good effect. Euh, euh, il tape à Jean-Bonnier un petit peu sur la question de, de Ben qui après Washington en février, tu peux euh, bouleverser presque au bord des larmes. Est-ce ouais. est que tu as l'impression que les Spurs continuent d'avancer ou, ou c'est un petit recul en arrière Non, on continue, continue d'avancer. C'est d'avoir une comment dire ouais d'avoir des petites baisses à certains niveaux mais c'est pour ça qu'il faut compenser avec, uh, avec d'autres et jouer intelligemment plutôt que se précipiter oh my gosh so much posted wait was that it crap hold on hold on Devin you you sit still for a minute um actually no should we just no no we're not doing that give me a second dude I really want to find this I really want to find this because I'm telling you, somebody called me out, and I want to uh, rub it in their face. Hold on. We got to keep looking, guys. I'll answer some uh, chat stuff until I find it. They be acting like it's the easy for small markets to land mega players. <laughs> yeah, they really, they really do. It's like, if it was up to fans, if it was up, oh, I found it this quick. Yeah, if it was up to fans as far as like what we have or what we would have had, I mean, they would have had DeJounte Murray, who's on the trading block right now, Zach Levine, who's not the same player, uh, who else? DeAndre Ayton, so we would have had those three, <laughs> who's everyone has said he plays soft. Uh, that that's what that would have been our big three. If it was up to fans and you just want to win right now, no tanking, that, that's what they do. The same people that has the t have the tendency to have no patience and say that we need to build around Wimby right now, I guarantee you they were the same people that said uh, don't tank. I guarantee you they were. Uh, here it is. So this is back in March. All right. So this is what this person had to say. All right. It says it's Angel Hernandez. I'm calling you out, Angel. All right. This is Angel. Actually, isn't Angel... Angel's in the chat sometimes. All right, you're going to see this later, okay? I'm sorry. you Not really. You're getting called out. He said, Clan thinks Wimby is future, but we'll still not, but we, we still not in the play-in? Anyone remember genera generational talents miss the playoffs? No. Otherwise, they wouldn't be generational talents. Brilliant take. Br brilliant take. Um, yeah, so in this video, whatever he's responding to, I basically said, we are not going to be in the play-in like i said that wimby is going to be great but i don't think that we make it to the play-in didn't think that we'd be good enough it's really tough um that's lies wait which part oh this 
yeah like generation generational talent that's just wrong yeah that's just false like generational talent has not made the playoffs plenty of times like it happens all the time yeah uh and i said some fans have very unrealistic expectations we would not be a playoff team with a rookie wimby no matter how good you are it is very difficult for a rookie to make you an immediate playoff team luka lebron and kd couldn't do it yes i <laughs> yeah i said this before the summer this is before we even got wimby right yeah i said this in march last march um and then i just reposted it to put it put it in their face because everyone was like what happened why are the spurs so bad and i was like this is exactly what i was talking about back in march i didn't expect us to even be a playoff team a play-in team and was dragged for it rebuilds aren't done after one season of tanking yeah yeah you were tripping angel you were tripping you were absolutely tripping yeah so it's really tough it's really tough now i will be honest in saying this season i could have saw like early on i was like i could see the spurs getting 30 right like 20 something to 30 um maybe 31 32 i could see that but looking at last season and how that standing was looking i was like there's no way you make a play in this season <laughs> they said playing like that wasn't a covid produced change to play oh true yeah that too exactly yeah playoff structure most generational talents aside from timmy didn't make huge impacts their first few years yeah yeah exactly exactly i didn't even think about that yeah yeah like like the play-in like what generational talent is but and when the play-in's been around for like just a few years like none actually none made the play-in something that didn't exist something that we didn't care about people used to not care about you know being 10th or 9th and I mean, I don't think the plan is a bad addition anymore. I used to think that, but uh, yeah. Stay off the weed. Exactly. Uh, facts, Timmy was a four-year college player. Um, someone brought up Timmy. And Timmy already had the Admiral when he was a rookie. Timmy already had veterans when he was after his rookie. Like, he, I mean, in, during his rookie year, he already had veterans. well-seasoned veterans on that team and timmy wasn't he didn't even have to be the leader of that team but mind you avery johnson was the leader of that team so a play-in team during duncan's prime would have been like a 50 win team a play-in team yeah crazy yeah i just want to call you out i was right i was right you were wrong you were so wrong. And I was so right. Spurs were in the Western Conference Final like a year before Timmy came. Uh, were they? I think they were. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. I think we need to talk about who are these generational talents everyone is talking about. It's a good point too. I mean, I was, I mean, I put in the three, I think are quite generational. Luca, LeBron, maybe KD. What is even the debate right now? Uh, We're not having a debate. I don't think we all agree. Oh, what this guy's debate? I have no idea what he's trying. He's just saying we'd be a play-in team. And Nick, no. I guess the debate is, is it okay for us to do the right thing and rebuild? I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, Switch says, the Spurs won 59 games in 95-96 season, only tanked because Robinson and uh, Wilkins got hurt. That's the team Timmy joined. Yeah. Even before D-Rob's injury, we had winning record. I don't remember. Um, before before David Robinson, the Spur, the San Antonio Spurs have a history of winning a lot of games. Uh, they always won a lot of games. Like, always. That's why so many people are are shook. Even old older fans are shook. They're like, oh my God, we're losing games. Because they never saw a losing Spurs team. 
let's see. As you can see, they've always won games. So we can go to, oh wait, I can't flip it. I guess I can't flip it. Um, but if we go down, I don't know, 67. 1967 when they were the Dallas. Yeah, we'll go up to the San Antonio Spurs in the 70s. Spurs, 45, 50 win or 51 fi wins, 50 wins, 44 wins, 52 wins, 48 wins, 41, 52, 48, 53, 37. That's a bad year in 83. Uh, mediocre, quite mediocre, not great, mediocre, mediocre. And then they're back to 50 wins, 56 wins, 55, 47, 49, 55, 62. They've always been. Like, basically from the 80s, late 80s, all the way up to 20, when when uh, the Kawhi trade, basically. All the way up to there, they've been a winning team, a winning franchise. And then these years, they were just mediocre, and then they tanked, and we've only been bad for two years, really. Like, bad, like genuinely bad, bad for two or three years. Um, yeah, so no, the Spurs have always been a a uh, a winning franchise that's impressive when you think about it it's ridiculous when you think about it um oh and here's the outcomes let's see uh let's see lost the western conference finals first round first round let's see if we go down here western conference finals in the, in 81 western conference finals in 82 First round, first round, first round. Semis, first round, first round. Semis, first round. Uh, Western Conference Finals in 94. Western Conference Finals in 97. And then won the finals. And the rest was history. Playoffs every single year. This was a nice stretch, man. 03, 05, 07. Yeah, that was a nice stretch. Think we can surpass the win total from last year? Uh, let's see. So we got 10. All right, we'll look at another segment. I don't know. 